I go to the wine section. I'm a cheap guy. I want a $10 bottle of wine. Huge numbers of bottles of wine. I finally go to at the bottom where they have the cheap wine because people, some people, not me, apparently are chagrined about getting on their knees looking for a bargain, not me. I find three bottles of wine in the $10 price range, collect the bottles to look at them. I look at the first bottle. It says on the back, it has a, all of those fancy wine adjectives. You know, this wine has a sarcastic nose, okay? And I don't even know what that means. So I go to the next bottle, and it's this very elaborate description of the process by which the wine was made, the temperature that it, which, with, which it was kept, the kind of barrels it was in. It sounds good, but I'm not a chemical engineer, so I don't know, understand what that means either. Then I go to the third bottle of wine. This bottle of wine. Two brothers, big tattoo, red. I look at the label, I don't get adjectives, I don't get fermentation processes, I get a story. Here's what it says. This wine comes from two brothers, Alex, a wine importer, and Eric, a tattoo artist. <laughs> Together they created Big Tattoo Red in honor of their mother, Liliana, who passed away from cancer in 2000. Alex created the blend and Eric designed the label using Liliana's favorite symbol, the fleur de lis. For every bottle sold, the brothers donate 50 cents to the Hospice of Northern Virginia and other breast cancer-related charities in the name of Lily Anna S. Barthelmus. The debut 2001 vintage allowed donations of $83,000. 2002 was over $240,000. Uh, with, with your help, uh, we expect to surpass a quarter of a million dollars for the 2003 vintage. Alex and Eric, thank you for your support and for honoring their mother. Okay, which wine are you going to buy? <laughs> Okay, now, here's the, but, but here's the thing. If the wine weren't any good, you wouldn't buy it again. But you know what? It's perfectly fine. And I bought it again and again and again. And obviously, I've fallen into the Bartholomew's Brothers Insidious marketing trap by telling you about it as well. <laughs> the point is that the backstories of products, services, and experiences are now a very important differentiator. You see this in a range of industries. It is where design was 10 or 12 years ago, about to shoot through the surface.